journey. And to present this knowledge insight, I have the privilege in inviting Amanpreet Singh, Senior Manager, Strategy Business Development, NEC Corporation. Over to you, sir. Thank you. Okay. Good morning, everyone. I'm Amanpreet, representing NEC Corporation today. So first of all, I would like to thank you, everyone, for inviting us and giving this opportunity to speak on this forum on behalf of my company. It is an absolute honor standing here and talking about the deployment of the biometric boarding system which we ha NEC has implemented across four uh, leading airports to ensure safe, secure, and seamless travel, comfortable travel for the passenger journey. Uh, over the next few minutes, I would uh, be taking you through a few slides where I would be talking about the key challenges which the uh, passengers are facing at the airport these days and how NEC is addressing those challenges. And I would also like to talk about our experience of deploying the biometric solution at, uh, the, for the AI airports at four, uh, from Pune, Vijayawada, Vizag, and uh, Varanasi. Lastly, our experience on the biometric space, we would be uh, walking through our expertise in the biometric space, what NEC has done uh, in that space. And then, what are the key benefits of implementing this BBS system, uh, how they are benefiting the passengers at the airport. Thank you. So starting with, uh, so everyone knows that due to the increase in the population, growing movement of the passengers and the goods and things across the country, airports are growing increasingly populated these days. And with the plan for implementation of around 220 airports by 2025, and around 80 airports are also coming up in the next three years. And as per the IATA data, by 2037, we are expecting around 520 million people are expected to travel within India itself. And uh, on the, due to the onset of the COVID, uh, the, the situation has also uh, been worsened because of uh, long passenger lines, the social distancing that has to be maintained, the processing time has been increased post the pandemic situation. So how NEC has been uh, util uh, utilizing their resources and expertise to address these growing challenges and ensure safe and convenient travel for the passengers. So we have come up with some innovative aviation solutions in uh, which we would be talking about today. So uh, for the first, uh, we would be talking about the biometric solution, uh, the NEC, which NEC has implemented already. The NEC utilizes this biometric uh, and passenger travel information as a single token uh, record and utilizing it as a token to identify the passenger across all the boarding touch points, starting from their uh, baggage dropage, then into the security check-in area, and then boarding onto the aircraft. So all those checkpoints which a passenger has to go through while boarding the aircraft. And uh, without any repetitive of the identity checks because of the boarding pass which passenger uses, he has to show it at every checkpoint. So, the time is increasing, and uh, with that, uh, there's longer queues uh, which we are trying to uh, uh, see here. Okay. So uh, moving on, I would like to cover our experience of deploying this biometric solution, which we have deployed for AI for four airports, which is uh, Pune, Vijayawada, Kolkata, and Varanasi. Uh, so. With the, help, uh, with the help of this technology, we have eliminated the need for uh, passengers to show their ID at every checkpoints and boarding pass several times throughout their journey. And with, this has actually resulted in a hassle-free experience for the uh, passengers and helped to reduce the longer queues. The processing time has also been reduced uh, with the help of this implementation. Uh, if we go through the image on the right-hand side of your screen, uh, showing the passenger journey at the boarding touch points, from check-in to the boarding, uh, as, uh, as, a, as a passenger, my face becomes a uh, uh, pass for all the airport checkpoints. First, they complete their self-check-in uh, through a kiosk that is implemented at the airport. And then this check-in information is tagged to the traveler's baggage information. And the, uh, once he uh, drops his baggage at, these, uh, at the self-baggage drop, his information is tagged to that. And when he is ready to board, if you see on the boarding side, uh, the, uh, the, a simple face scan will verify the traveler's identity and they can walk right onto the plane and uh, board the aircraft. So with this biometric technology, we have been able to reduce the, uh, we have able to improve the uh, 
experience for the passenger. Uh, the experience is very simple. It's seamless and secure, secure now. Uh, so this is also a similar view. This is an ideal situation for a customer, how he would be uh, boarding a plane like, like he's getting ready, then he's doing the check-in at the kiosk, baggage drop is being uh, done at these, uh, again at the self check-in baggage drop area. Then with, at the bio border, border control and security, he just uh, scans his face and move on to the uh, for boarding, this is uh, for boarding at the airport, and then uh, the aircraft is being boarded. So we are trying to show. So a uh, major concern rises here as the cost. We, uh, I as a passenger is sharing my information. Uh, is it really secure or not? So yeah, so we have, uh, this technology is actually uh, backed up by blockchain. And this uh, solution gives individual total privacy and control of their personal information while making data shareable on a trusted network and ensuring that uh, security is being maintained. Uh, so if I talk about our expertise in biometric solutions, so we, have, we are in this space for of around 50 years. We are doing R&D across, uh, in, we have a center in Bangalore where we have uh, been doing this R&D center. Uh, if you see, we are world number one. We are uh, in facial, in fingerprint recognition technology, we are uh, number one for eight consecutive years. For facial recognition technology, we are number one for four consecutive years. And for iris recognition, tech, uh, we are being ranked number one by NIST in 2018. Yeah. If I talk about the benefits of implementing this biometric base, how the passengers are benefiting with this and at the airport, and even the passenger, even the airport staff is also getting uh, benefited by this. So we just about, talked about the uh, enhancement of the passenger experience. It provides a simple and seamless experience to all the travelers. So it is able to, he is able to deliver uh, a seamless, paperless, and hassle-free experience by moving all through the checkpoints without carrying his boarding pass across, and this has uh, basically improved his experience so that he can plan his uh, trips accordingly. On the second one, uh, better, better throughput is achieved through existing infrastructure using the digital framework. Since the customer is connected uh, with his uh, facial recognition, he's connected across all in, within the airport, he can walk through all the security uh, scanners swiftly owing to the advanced uh, biometric uh, solution. The third one, it, is, it will result in the lower cost of operations because of the uh, remov removal of the redundancies at various checkpoints and uh, enhancement of the resource utilization. In fact, less staff would be required due to the self-service uh, facility. The fourth one, definitely the digitization of the current manual processes will bring greater efficiencies for the customer since the passenger would be getting some real-time notification about what's the con uh, congestion at the next point and uh, if there are any delays or not. So they c he would have a greater visibility and he can plan his trip accordingly and see what's next. On the fourth one, the uh, fifth one, the important one, which is the, it will definitely help to enhance the security standard and improve the current system performance. Yeah, uh, so these were the key uh, information which I wanted to share with you all. So we have also uh, set up a booth where we have replicated this kind of airport environment where starting from we would uh, register you, your face as a, uh, from the kiosk and then moving on to the uh, check-in area and then uh, through the gateless uh, system we would be boarding this uh, aircraft. So we would urge if you could just uh, after the session we could just move there and uh, have that. Orchestrating a Brighter World, NEC.